Hi, Christina. Good afternoon. Well, this is certainly a hot topic between corporate and its employees, including this store here in Long Beach. This is 7th and Redondo. Employees here avoided to unionize, and if approved, this Starbucks would become the very first of the coffee chain in Southern California to unionize. I think what we want is like a little bit more permanence, a little bit more of a guarantee. We want to know that we're taken care of by the company that we've kind of been taking care of. Starbucks employees say it's simple. They want better wages and working conditions. That woman told us workers here have been breaking their backs for the chain, especially during the pandemic, and some feel undervalued and they want to be compensated for the work they do. This Starbucks in Long Beach isn't the only one. There's a growing unionization push all across the chain. The company has some 9,000 stores nationwide, and so far, more than 200 Starbucks in 31 states have filed to unionize its people. Now, other stores have voted um, on overwhelming margins, and so far, 28 stores are now protected by a union. The company has been accused of retaliating against those who do so, and in one instance, the National Labor Relations Board sued Starbucks, claiming the company let go of two employees and put another on unpaid leave for union campaign. It denies that, saying those employees have violated company policy. Starbucks employees who support a union say they want to be heard. Any company could stand to hear what their employees have to say about day-to-day -day operations and what would really help people on the floor, on the front lines of, like, service industry. You know, I think who else better to say what we need than, than the people that are actually doing the, the work on the front. And Starbucks says its CEO has been meeting and talking with employees about concerns, including those at the Starbucks at 7th and Redondo. Employees understand corporate is not supportive. In a statement, the CEO said going forward, it will be important for all of you to recognize that outside labor unions are attempting to sell a very different view of what Starbucks should be. In stores where any union election occurs, it is important for all partners to have a voice by voting because otherwise these important rights may be dictated by what a minority of partners actually says. Now, the decision to unionize has garnered support from the community and its leaders, including Long Beach Mayor Robert Garcia. He tweeted out recently, really proud that our Long Beach Starbucks at Redondo and 7th is about to become the first Starbucks in Southern California with a union. Stop by to support the workers as they organize. Congrats and thank you. So again, back here live out in front of this Starbucks here in Long Beach, there are a couple of others here in Long Beach that are also uh, wanting to unionize or wanting to hold a vote to unionize. And the vote here is expected to be tallied by mid-May. We'll, of course, be watching. For now, back to you in Hollywood.